A run boost is when you are running on another player who is also running. But a run boost is also typically referred to when the player above jumps to get really far. Let's start by looking at velocity which is your movement speed. You can type CL show pass one in the console to see your velocity in the top left corner. If the player under you has the same velocity and you run boost straight forward, your velocity in the air will be multiplied by almost exactly two. So run boosting with a knife at 250 velocity gives you roughly 500 velocity in the air when jumping. Here's a few more examples. With a Glock at 240, you get roughly 480. With an AK at 215, you get roughly 430. The same for walking and the same for crouching. It does not matter if you wait two seconds or 22 seconds before jumping, the rule is the same. It's going to multiply your current velocity by almost exactly two, provided you are both running with the same velocity. Fun fact, this is all done on a 128 tick server, but on a 64 tick server with no other changes made, you actually gain a little bit higher velocity. But apart from tick rate, most maps will give you different results because of uneven surfaces. So in the end, the velocity will fluctuate in a small range that you won't really notice anyway. The main problem however when run boosting is going up. It only takes one single unit to stop the player below from moving. Even if that single unit was made as a ramp, instead, it will still block the player below. This is why you will often face problems run boosting on competitive maps because a tiny, tiny height difference can cause both of you to stop unexpectedly. However, when moving downhill or on a flat surface, you are fine. All right, so how do you run boost? My favorite way and the one I recommend the most is to have a player crouch, let the other player on, then jump one time so the crouching player can stand up and that's when you both run. The distance that you can travel on a flat surface with a jump from a proper run boost is at least two times more than a regular jump. Because the velocity does not change by running sideways or even backwards, you can run boost from any direction. For example, on Mirage, you can run boost and jump sideways to surprise an enemy. You can also run boost and jump from one player to another. However, you might be wondering, what happens if you try to run boost with more than two players? Well, the game has a rule where if you are more than two players on each other, anyone above will move forward automatically, just like you're tripping off a banana. This also removes your ability to jump, but you can still technically run boost on each other. This could even get you to certain places you wouldn't normally be able to. In theory, you could do this with as many players as possible, but in a competitive environment, it wouldn't really be of use. You could perform it as a stunt to get that wow factor, but that's pretty much it. Another thing, however, that you can do with a run boost is find certain spots to create a tower. This works because you're in front of something that blocks you from moving forward. Since I'm aiming towards the wall, I am no longer moving, which gives me full control over my accuracy and a pretty interesting angle. If I look away, then I will run off the tower because of the forward rule. Here's another example of a tower. This one works because I am blocked by an invisible wall, stopping me from moving forward. All these towers require a lot of teamwork, coordination, and practice, and for some of these plays, it's high risk, high reward. Run boosting isn't something you should be doing all the time during competitive matches, but sometimes it may come in handy. If you would like to practice, or have some fun with run boosting, I've made a run boost course that you can subscribe to on the Steam Workshop and play with a friend. A link for that will be in the video description. I hope this video helped. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more CSGO content, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.